Well, overall, I'm quite happy with the, uh, the way the initial part of the sky has gone. We're now going to do the clouds. I want to put a bit of atmosphere and movement and life into the clouds. So we're not just going to do some white fluffy clouds. We might put some grey shadow underneath them as well. Um, and maybe just warm them up a little bit with a little bit of yellow ochre. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of our white here, titanium white on the knife, and just bring it over here with just a touch of yellow ochre. And... Uh, We'll just mix that in. And that yellow ochre will just give that warming effect rather than just having the pure white. Okay, so that's probably a little bit too much yellow ochre, so we'll get a bit more titanium white there. Mix that in. Okay, so that's gonna be our main cloud color. We'll have some highlight colors with some white, um, but we also need a bit of a, uh, a gray. So I'm gonna get some blue and we'll get some burn umber, a bit more blue, and a touch of the alizarin crimson. And with that, we'll just mix up a bit of a gray. Okay. I'm not gonna to use too much shadow, but just enough to uh, put the underside of the clouds in, I think, is what we're gonna use. There we go, that's starting to get a bit of a grey happening there. So that was Burn Umber, Alizarin Crimson, and the uh, Ultramarine Blue. And of course, there's already a little bit of this uh, cloud colour already on there, on the knife, and that's sort of mixed in a little bit as well, just to soften off that grey. So I'm quite happy with that. Okay, get some paper towel, and clean off the knife. And... I'm going to use our one inch brush again for the clouds. I'm just going to go into um, that sky color. So what I'm doing is I'm just pulling the one inch brush through the sky color, the, sorry, the cloud color. Getting that in there. So I've got a nice chunk of it on here. Now with clouds, the higher up towards the, uh, the you know, directly above us that they are, the bigger they're going to be. And as they get towards the horizon, they're going to be further away in the distance. They're going to be smaller and flatter. So I always start sort of up in this area. I'm going to put most of my clouds over here because I've got the rocks on the right-hand side here to offset. So, um, you know, what I'll do is I'll just dance a few clouds in. And we want to get that sort of wispy, uh, you know, wind-blowing the clouds kind of feel. So I keep them a bit random. Bit random, we don't want them to be too uniform, these clouds. Okay, and you know, along this section, we want to getting close to the horizon, they're a bit flatter, as I mentioned. Get some in there, maybe connect up with that one. Okay, so that's the beginnings of our clouds. All right, now I think. Um, that's all a bit light in value right now. So I'm gonna just clean off this brush a little bit. Get some of those shadows in so we can see what we've got to work with here. So again, I'm just applying the shadow color to the brush in the same way, just pulling it through the paint like so. And what I'm gonna do, the shadows are gonna be underneath here. Okay, so I'm just applying a little bit of the shadow color, not too much, but just underneath. See that? And then we'll blend, we'll start to blend that in. Okay. Just getting it really placed there. So it's underneath those white, um, or the, you know, the white part of the cloud. And to blend it in, I'm gonna take the big brush again. And I just want to, uh, just make sure it's fairly dry and clean, you know, get whatever excess paint might be in there. It's always a good habit, just to give that a good uh, thorough sort of working over. Now, the key with this is I'm going to use really this edge here. See that there? Those little hairs there? That's what I'm going to use for this part. And we're going to do a swirling motion, and we're going to blend the shadow in with the white section, you know, of the cloud. Takes a little bit of control. You can see mine's got a bit out of control there. So I'll just take the 
other side of it and I'll just do that okay just blending it up into the white and yellow ochre part of the cloud like so you don't want the shadow to dominate and if it does start to dominate then we might need to put on a bit more uh, of the yellow ochre and white that we mixed up just swirling it around a bit and you'll see as we keep working on this this is going to start to blend in and create an overall sh sort of uh, cloud look that is going to be nice and soft and fluffy but also have um, sort of a three-dimensional form now I feel that uh, given this painting is called at last summer's here this is probably looking a bit too dark and ominous um, these clouds so I'm going to go back in and uh, apply some more of our basic cloud color okay so I've just got some more on the brush there and I'm just going to work that near the tops of these clouds and back over some of the shadow area just so we knock back some of the shadows I don't now I'm picking up shadow on the brush so I'm going to clean that off and go back into the paint okay get some of those looking a bit more alive just so I'm really just looking to knock back some of those shadows but keeping them at the same time if that makes sense okay this is going to turn out to be a little bit of a cloudy old sky here today but that's okay well one of the things I like about painting is you set out to paint something and you just don't always know how it's going to turn turn out so again just swirling that paint in just using just the edges of the hairs here and that's looking a little bit brighter now not, not so dark and ominous but still is a little bit so what we need is maybe some of the highlight colors now just before we do anything else Okay, I've just swirled those in. My canvas is still a little bit wet. I don't know if you're picking up on that, but it's um, a little bit wetter than I'd like at this stage. Okay, so I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to very gently just blend all of that in. Okay, now I've just got a big hair on the uh, sky there, off the brush. And um, I'm not going to try and chase it out of there, okay? Um, one thing I'm going to do though, while just while I'm thinking about this, I'm just going to apply a little bit of um, a swirl into this blue section here, just to blend some of that in a bit more. Now I do feel we need a little bit of highlight colours on the tops of these clouds, so I'm going to get into just some pure titanium white now. And you've got to think about where would the sun be hitting. You know to be coming down and be hitting the tops of these clouds so I'm really going to just uh, apply some of this towards the tops of these clouds like so using a bit of a swirling motion to get that feeling of movement you know the wind blowing There we go. And again, we're going to uh, just take out some paint out of the brush there. And this time I'm going to use less swirling. I want to leave some of the pure white there. And notice how I'm flicking some of it up as well. Just swirling it around. Okay, and I'll just gently 
blend some of that back in there like that. Okay. So we've got quite a bit of cloud activity happening in the sky here. Gives it lots of atmosphere um, and lots of movement. Looks like it's a bit of a windy day. Might be the first, you know, last summer's here. Um, but that can often mean that you get some late changes with the weather and so on, depending on where you live. So I think that pretty well covers us for the um, sky here, and we're making great progress, as you can see. Well, I hope you can see how simple a sky was for you to do. Let me just recap the steps for you. First thing we did was, uh, after we did our drawing, was to prepare the canvas. And we um, used some of our flow right medium and we got some titanium white, thinned that right down with the medium and just, you know, applied it to the sky area of the painting. Then we mixed up some uh, of the ultramarine blue and we did the crisscross, you know, starting at the corner so they became darker to move in. And we worked our way down towards the horizon line and then we blended it in and we repeated that process just to get a bit more darkness into the sky there um, and just all softened it off with the big two and a half inch brush the clouds we then took some yellow ochre mixed it with titanium white just to warm it up a little bit and just danced in the cloud shapes and then put some shadow color underneath that was burn umber ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson just mixed up that went underneath and that gives that that un that sort of form if you like that roundness and just finished off with just a few little highlight uh, colors now we probably did a few more highlight colors but because it's still uh, you know reasonably wet up in the sky i'm going to leave it for the moment and it might be one of those things we come back and, and do as a finishing touch 